The 2020 Rumble in the Jungle COVID edition spring bear hunt is officially underway. Um, me and the dogs left my house at two o'clock in Iowa yesterday. Drove for about 27 total hours. Got here, couldn't find a spot. Drove around on like every road looking for an open pull off and then found this pretty nice one. Got a nice little fire pit. Should be enough room for five, six guys. Um, just threw up my tent real fast. I gotta go find Colton because last I had heard he's hunting and had no idea where we were gonna camp. So I need to go and catch him when he gets out of the tree. The only problem seems to be that there might be a few mosquitoes in this spot. So either way, looks like this is gonna be home for tonight anyway. And I can tell you right now, I could use some sleep. I think it was 30 hours of traveling and I slept like one and a half hours sitting up in the driver's seat. So I'm whooped, but let's get it going. Got ourselves a beautiful day in Idaho, according to Colton. Yeah. Rain for three days. Only 60% chance on the third day, so that's as good as it gets. And we're gonna go put out baits. Well, five hours later, we got two more baits out. So we're sitting at four baits with a possible five hunters next week. So either way, it's time to go hunt. Probably a little late, but we'll get a couple hours in. So go sitting in the rain, rumble in the jungle, COVID edition. Got the bear buggy loaded up with the baits. So it's a bait buggy today. Um, gonna try to get a couple of baits out here today and tomorrow to let them soak for the rest of the week before the posse shows up at the end of the week. But uh, also I was sick as a dog yesterday. So slept like 18 out of the last 24 hours. Feeling a little better today. So hopefully we can keep that on the up and up, get these two baits out and uh, go from there. We got bait five set out, new spot. I don't think I'm even gonna have time to set the stand up today. So I'll probably just leave this for a couple of days, come back, see if it gets hit and hang a stand then. But um, I'm gonna try to beat feet back and then get back into that stand that I sat the first night. Maybe do a little hunt for a couple hours. In the rain, it looks like. <laughs> looks like it's gonna be rainy for the better part of the entire trip.
bait number six is set. So I'm gonna go do a little hunting and uh, start checking baits, refilling baits tomorrow. Got four new spots this year. So hopefully at least 50% of those four, hopefully two of them four have, have been hit here by the weekend, but be great if all four were. Rained real hard last night, pretty much the entire night. Got up this morning, around late morning, I seen the sun a few times, so tried to get some stuff laid out to dry off, but didn't make a lot of progress there. So pretty much just been hanging out in my long johns at camp here so far, doing some shooting and whatnot. Uh, I think the plan for today is the, that bait that I had hunted a couple of times should be pretty much empty today. So I'm gonna load up here early this afternoon and then run over there with as much bait as I can carry down there, get that as full as I can to get us to the weekend, and then uh, head back down and hunt for the rest of the evening. So until then, I'm just gonna kick around at camp, probably take off early afternoon, and, you know, hang out with the dogs until then. Day six, today is June 11th, which makes me 36 years old, which makes me the same age as Eva. <laughs> Almost anyway, she looks like she's 36. But another nice day today, two in a row. Got a nice little pile of wood going on here now. So should be able to really set it off tonight after I kill a birthday bear, me and the girls can get a little rowdy, have a little bonfire tonight. But heading up to check baits today so it should be pretty awesome uh, hopefully the roads dried out a bit after a day of sun yesterday it's definitely the worst road of the bunch that we got baits on but pretty much got everything loaded up in the buggy like 50 pounds of oats 100 pounds of bread the last couple gallons of like syrup stuff we put on everything the drizzle and uh, the last bit of grease so hopefully gonna leave a lot of that up in up in the baits freshen them up Pull the cards, have some bears on them, come back down and maybe get a little hunt in this evening. But it's time to head up the road. Got all four baits checked. Three was a whiff. Four had one bear come by in the middle of the night. Didn't even really mess with the bait much. Just kind of passed on through. So freshen them all up with a bunch of scent. Hopefully a couple of days will do them good. And we might get might get a bear or two on them here in the next couple of days yet. So gonna go round up the gear and head out and see if we can't get myself a B-Day bear yet tonight. Six 
Well, busting out the hopefully lucky bear hat that my dad got me back when I was like eight years old on his Manitoba bear hunt. Maybe that'll give me a little mojo, but uh, went out and got a stand set on a bait that hadn't didn't have a stand yet. Still hadn't been hit. I can't believe they're not going to find it, but uh, it's 90 degrees. I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> Good day to hang a stand, but either way back cooling off a little bit it's about noon here on Friday day seven or eight or whatever day it is and the uh, rest of the crew should start trickling in pretty much any time here so from here on out it should be nothing but good times and hopefully maybe a couple of bears here on these baits finally man but either way things are gonna pick up pretty quick here Just got set up on the ground here at the last bait. Kind of nestled up next to this big pile of downfall. Brought my trusty little buggy shovel to flatten out the hill. And uh, got a little bit of a log in front of me up on a hill above the bait a bit. It's just right there, probably about 15 yards. Got a couple of real nice trails coming down this valley right to the bait. So. Only had one bear come by in the middle of the night in the last four days, but I don't know. They find winter kills and wolf kills down in the bottom all the time, so I can't believe they won't find it. Might just take them a little while, I suppose. So, gonna hang out for a couple hours. This is the end of the prep week. I'm guessing next week or tomorrow, I'm planning on getting a little bit more serious about the hunting, putting a few more hours in. In a new spot had some burgers for lunch seen a pretty nice beer last night so all in all pretty good the sun is shining at this moment so there's a pretty nice cinnamon beer on this bait uh, that just showed up in the last couple of days after I rescented everything there last week so maybe we'll get lucky they'll come in and I'll have a nine yard shot or something on them so we'll see got about three hours till dark
Well, finally got one on the ground after three weeks of running baits. Uh, came in about 20 minutes before shooting light ended. I just heard it right behind me and I kind of turned and hey, it must have caught me looking for it. And uh, it busted out of there, ran up the hill about 10 yards and I swung my bow over and he hopped up on a log and was facing straight away from me and stopped. So I just come to full draw and I knew I had to go left or right. When she turned to the left, I had one heading her way. Hit her pretty good. She didn't run, what do you say, 60 yards? Still took a while to find her, no blood really. A lot of thick stuff down here, but happy to get one on the ground. Bear down. Bear down. First bear with a stick bow. First animal with First a stick bow. First animal with a stick bow. That's right. Super stoked. Five yard recovery. Five yards, maybe. Should be a pretty easy walk too. Yeah. It's gonna be money. Best walk in the on the base. <laughs> Best of the five, for sure. <laughs> And then it was like, this is where that used to be. That turn. Exactly. Good job, buddy. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. You still got some cover in there, too, though. So she came across the log across on the far ridge down there and came walking down to this cedar and for some reason turned back around went back up the hill and I thought she was gone for good and, and she picked a different log and came all the way down here to the bait and walked around this, this very same log seven yards from the bait I went to full draw and she walked across to her that cedar tree over there and I she turned and looked at me and I hit her with the snuffer and she went four yards and piled up Thursday afternoon in the stand a few hours early because it's the first day that it hasn't rained all day in about a week of course as I say this it's starting to sprinkle right now but still the weather's been a lot better today than the past week so haven't sat this spot it's super thick but we've had some good bears on the bait and there's a bunch of poop that wasn't here even last night so hopefully one of these nice bears is gonna come in this afternoon I'm gonna be able to weave a shot through here somehow and that'll be it. I'm gonna be a hero. A couple hours into this set, and a little thunder rolled, and the wind picked up and got real chilly. And I can hardly see the ridge across the valley from me now. It looks like it is raining hard.
Well, this is it. The final hoorah, the Hail Mary, the last evening hunt of the trip. So, uh, Colton killed a nice chocolate bear last night, just came into camp with a big chocolate boar in his truck. So that's cool, he's tagged out. I did see a nice bear last night at the stand I'm gonna hunt tonight. Uh, first bear I'd seen in five or six days. I think since I passed that real small one, like on Sunday, about a week ago. So he just kind of hung up at 11 yards behind a tree and just walked back off in the other direction. So hopefully tonight, maybe I get a little better angle or he commits to the bait all the way or, or something better than happened last night. But either way, this is it. I think we've started pulling stands. I think this one I'm hunting in here is gonna be the last one standing come sundown tonight so this is it man gonna stick an Idaho bear